Let's just do an intersection departure here real quick, just yeah. for the pattern. Chehalis, traffic 317, Victor Alpha, departing 34 at Alpha 3. Chehalis. Left close traffic. Left close traffic, Chehalis. Okay, so with our crosswind takeoff, yeah, that goes to the left, goes right? To the left, yeah. So hold that center line, then slowly just bring it out from the left as we speed up. There you go. And then let it weather vane to the wind as it wants to. So stay coordinated. Left. Yeah, there you go. Coordinated, just let it weather vane so you stay over the center line. All right. Now it's important to remember when, where the wind's coming from. And it's coming from this way, which means you're going to have a tailwind on base. Yeah. Which means you, if you're not careful, you can overshoot final. So and give yourself a little bit longer of a cross time. Yeah. So that you're wider downwind and you don't yeah. overshoot. It breaks under carriages fixed. Gas went two, three, seatbelts two. Marge is going to do a touch and go here. Okay. Okay, make this turn early and I don't want to be any lower. Okay, bring the rest of those flaps. Bring that power out. Flaps all the way. Let's pitch it back down. And over hard. to the wind once okay. you land, okay? Okay, okay flaps up. are up. Hold that center line. Okay, and the burn. Okay. So, don't let it wear the vein, just okay. stay coordinated with the weather vein. Yeah, okay. Okay, better. But you let it land. Yeah. You shouldn't be letting it land, so. No. Oh, I see the postage stamp up here, but I thought it wasn't a postage stamp. I remember the one that we were looking at down here. Well, that one's a postage stamp, too, so, yeah, I guess I can use that Scapoos station. Two, that was 1242. Seattle Center, RV 317, Victor Alpha, BFR request. Aircraft, uh, looking for flight following void on call sign. That's uh, November 317, Victor Alpha. She said, go ahead with your call. Oh. And number 317, Victor Alpha, a safe, safe position and altitude. At 3,000 feet uh, to the west of Toledo. Number 317, Victor Alpha, squawk 1535. 1535, 317, Victor Alpha. Number 317, Victor Alpha, radar contact 6 miles north uh, west of Toledo Airport. Stay again, altitude, type aircraft, and request. At 3,100 feet, I'd like to request flight following to Twin Oaks. That's uh, 703 for an RV-12. And number 7, Victor Alpha, same type aircraft. Uh, we're an RV-12. Gotta give her all the information, otherwise it's yeah. forever. And she's got other people Three. to talk to. Yeah. Number 317, Victor Alpha, the Portland Altimeter 3009er, maintain VFR. 3009 or 7 Victor Alpha. Ideally, I mean, you need to know what, what they need from you. But yeah. at the very least, when they ask you to give them certain information, you have to give them that. You can't just yeah. ignore their request. Give them half and okay. make her come back three times. Yeah. So yeah, when she comes back, and you know, usually when they say, she yeah. said, basically, um, go ahead with your call sign. So what she meant was, say your call sign give again, the, and then okay. tell me what you want. So okay. you should have just said at that point, 3 and 7 Victor Alpha is an RV-12, 6 miles northwest of Toledo, request flight following to 7 Sierra 3 at 3,000 feet. But even if she didn't say, go ahead, like she said, aircraft flight following, uh, calling for flight following, say again, or, or, or say your call sign or whatever, yeah. usually, yeah, they, usually you can just go ahead with 30. the call sign and your whole request, because they're listening at that point. So even if they only ask for the call sign, you can usually say... It's November 3rd, Alpha. Right, Alpha. heading, heading 3,000 feet north, 6 miles north of Toledo. Request flight point to 7 Sierra Tree at 3,000 feet. So I'm what's the next frequency, frequency you expect they're going to hand you off to? They're going to hand me back off to PDX, and that would be 126 if I was at the south, but I'm on the north. I'm kind of expecting this 12435. Okay, so 
so you could probably put that in now yeah. so it's ready to go. Always staying ahead of the airplane. Yeah. Anytime you're just sitting here twiddling your thumbs, you should be trying to think, like, what can I be doing right now? Are yeah. my frequencies right? Is my altimeter right? Is my yeah. navigation correct? Am I upside down? Yeah. <laughs> Are there any airplanes around, right? Look yeah. at traffic. You should always be looking for something to do. You should never just be sitting here doing nothing. Good evening, Hillsborough Tower. Skyline. Mike, we're about uh, 11 miles to the northeast with Kilo. Uh, let's uh, full stop landing. Uh, aircraft calling for Hillsborough Tower. You're on center frequency. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'll say her to see. But I've never done that. I was going to say, I'll never do that. Number 7, Victor Alpha, contact Portland Approach, 124.35. 124.35, thank you, 7, Victor Alpha. Portland Approach, RV 317, Victor Alpha, BFR. 317, Victor Alpha, Portland Approach, Roger, no, uh, weather available for search, so no, get those for information, Kilo. I got it. Just let them know, we'll, we'll advise with Kilo at Hillsboro. We'll advise with Kilo at Hillsborough, 7 Victor Alpha. November 7 Victor Alpha, Roger, Paul, on altimeter 3009. 3009, 7 Victor Alpha. So you forgot to tell your altitude. Okay. Two yep. things. Okay. The, only, the only main thing you say is who you are and what your altitude is. VFR. All you said was VFR, though. So. Yeah. Portland Approach, RV2, 7 Victor Alpha, 3000 VFR. I thought when. Oh, so I need to, I didn't say my elevation. Yeah, That's you didn't say elevation. So, yeah. yeah. Always say that. Yeah. In the meantime, we can see if we can get into help to Portland. Or we'll full stop taxi back. This is how we, basically anything you ever want from ATC, this is how you go about asking. Yeah, for 3 on send Victor Alpha request. November 10, Victor Alpha, say request. Yeah, so Victor Alpha, would be possible to come in and do a full stop taxi back at PDX? Uh, November 10, Victor Alpha, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, there isn't much traffic inbound at the current time. If you'd like, you could see direct phone. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I'll take vectors at your discretion. Uh, November 10, Victor Alpha, if I request and do an approach or just proceed in uh, for the VFR pattern to do that? It's the VFR pattern uh, for a full stop taxi back. November 10, Victor Alpha, Roger. Flighting uh, 130 and uh, 1 able, you can uh, proceed direct for the midfield. 130 and then uh, midfield 1 able, 7 Victor Alpha, thank you. November 7 Victor Alpha, information Whiskey's current at Portland, expect to make 28 right. We'll expect to wait right and we do have Whiskey, 7 Victor Alpha. Roger. Just talk to him like the people, right? He was right. heard what he said. He said, information Whiskey is current, expect 28 right. So I just said, we'll expect 28 right and we have Whiskey. Not everything, especially when your request isn't a standard everyday request. Right. Not that this isn't, but, you know, just tell them what you need in the most succinct way possible. All right, so he said expect 2-8 right. Yeah. So, so close start to the river. Yeah, I'll start briefing, kind of figuring out how that's going to look, how you expect to enter the pattern. Yeah. Uh, what taxiways you're going to be getting off on. All these things that you want to start briefing here. Right. There's the hot spot near Atlantic. Okay, good. Otherwise, it's the actually that Alpha taxiway until it gets to the end there. So, what it, what taxiway do you expect to exit on? I'll probably I, I be exiting on Alpha three. Okay. And then, if you're taxiing back for departure, you you can expect that they're going to tell you what uh, taxi Alpha two, uh, Alpha one, or Alpha two. Yeah, it's taxi two eight right via Alpha. Okay. So. You'll expect to make a left turn off at Alpha 3, and then you'll make, expect to make a left turn onto Alpha. How do you expect to enter the pattern? Uh, I expect, because of the parallel runways, that, that he'll put me over the river on a, on a right pattern and enter, so basically turning over 205. Uh, approach uh, 7 Victor Alpha, we're going to head southbound uh, for some cloud clearance here um, until we head to Portland Midfield. November 7 Victor Alpha, Roger, resume the navigation. Oh, now it's a picture, I think. So yeah, just head that way and head around that backside. You mean head around this one that's over the river? Yeah. Like this? Okay. Yeah, just... What did, what did I lose? Available. What did I lose? Oh, Navade? Oh, uh, 
Okay. Heading to our uh, connection with GTN lost. That's one good. Parametric. Pressure altitude source and operative. Or connection to GTN lost. So I don't have any GoPro video from after this moment, but I flew in kind of over Vancouver, turned just short of 205 and landed on 28 right. Then taxied back on Alpha 3 as I'd thought back to Alpha 1, took off, turned and went south over the field and flew down over Mount Tabor and then back uh, to the airport. Thankfully, Sam had taken some photos and video, so that's what I'm showing here.